as you can see, our dinette table has a coat of stain on it and it is dry. So that means that it's time for shellac. I like to use this. You can get it in any of your big box hardware stores. It's Zinser's Bullseye, Bullseye Shellac and it's uh, the clear kind. It doesn't have the amber. The amber gives you a little bit of a darker hue and that's okay if you want a little bit of a darker hue. I'm gonna use this little foam brush to put it on and I'm gonna go full strength. On my first application, just my first application is gonna be full strength. Again, you're gonna to wanna to work just like we did with our stain. You're gonna work from the inside out. And don't leave any puddles. It will leave that puddle. So this shellac, just kinda of give it a smooth, even coat. Nice and easy like this. It almost looks like you're really not putting that much on. Now, interesting fact, shellac, comes from the lac bug, and it's its excrement. That's right, I said excrement. That means poop. So it's not that big of a deal. Like when you eat M&Ms, the reasons that they melt in your mouth and not in your hand, it's because they put shellac over it. Now, do I recommend drinking this shellac? No, I don't. But it's not toxic, but you know, too much of anything is toxic. So all right, let's uh, work our way inside out on our first full coat of shellac and see how it comes out. All right, that's gonna be our first coat. I've put it on just full strength. We're gonna cut it down on the next one. So we gotta wait about 15 minutes, wait for this to dry, and then we're gonna go on to the next step of our shellac. Our 15 minutes has passed, our shellac is dry. Now we've got to sand it lightly with the 220 grit sandpaper, very lightly. Just enough to scuff it up so that we could put another coat on it, but what we're gonna do now is we're going to add some denatured alcohol to our shellac. We're just gonna cut it down two to one. I made this uh, little guy right here, and first, uh, is, first little line there is gonna be the denatured alcohol. The second line up is going to be our two parts of shellac. Then that's gonna make it flash off quicker. It'll dry quicker. It's gonna be a little thinner, but lots of thin coats is better than thick coats. So we're going to get going with our denatured alcohol one part to two parts shellac and then we're going to do that coat. All right, I've got my two parts shellac, one part of denatured alcohol. These are gonna go on really, really thin. Real thin, so be careful and go thin.
All right, that's our second coat using denatured, denatured alcohol. We're going to let it sit about 15 minutes and then try one more coat and see how that makes it feel. I think it's starting to look really nice. Well, another 15 minutes went by. So our second coat of shellac was a little bit lighter. Uh, we're gonna hit it again with a light sanding of 220 grit sandpaper, just real light. Then we're gonna wipe it down and then we're gonna go over it with two parts of shellac, one part denatured alcohol. Here's the little trick I wanted to show you. Put your brush into a plastic bag in between your coats because shellac dries really fast. Put it in this plastic bag. You don't have to use a new one every time you put a coat on it. Repeat the process. Another 15 minutes in the sun. Maybe one more coat. We'll take a look at it. Three coats of shellac. It's looking great. One last thing that I want to do is put a coat of wax on it. You don't have to do that. I just kind of like it. It shines it up. It gives it a really smooth feel. So when you're using it, using the table, it's going to feel pretty cool. So let's check it out. Just gonna grab a little bit of this wax here. Not a whole ton, but just gonna kind of put it in a circular motion. Make sure that I get all of the table covered. And it's not gonna take a lot of wax. I've probably got enough wax for 50 tables here, but that's the only size I had, and we're gonna use it. So you can see we're just gonna wax it circularly. So I'm going to take my part of the t-shirt, put my orbital sander on it, and really buff it out. Let's take a look at this shellac tabletop in the sun. It is beautiful. Just look at the shine on that. And it is as smooth as a baby's bottom. That last coat of wax just really did the trick and made it look real nice. 